tomorrow on stream, I'm gonna wanna go for one to 10 and see how fast I can do it. I will clip that out of my stream and I will post that on my YouTube channel. So if you guys happen to miss the stream or something tomorrow, uh, one big mistake, two, um, you guys can check that out on my YouTube retroactively. Let's say the different layers and in general, all chat. Do people from the other layers also see my chat if I'm in the same zone or city as them? Yes, they will. Will there be updated graphics? There will be some things that are a little different, like bonus foliage and stuff like that, if you want it to be ex the new water, if you want there to be. But as far as the animations and the models goes, the animation and the models will be the same. Can you explain the difference between sharding and layering? Uh, yeah, so basically how it is with layering, is layering is basically like you're taking a digital server it's like it's like a 3000 person short it's like it, it's an entire like vanilla server and you fill it up and then you add another one so you basically have a full layer and you're not going to have a situation where like in sharding you constantly see people change right you constantly see people or not change, phase uh in and out and that's why people get phasing and sharding confused is because you'll like walk away from them and turn around and poof right uh, that's not gonna happen. That's that's what they're saying. That's that's their goal. Their their goal is specifically to not let that happen with layering because everybody's gonna be on their layer and they're not gonna just poof out. What's your stance on BGs not being server only? Uh, yeah, I don't like cross realm. I think that's something that at least initially they uh, they shouldn't have that. Mm -hmm. I, at least initially, that's not something that they should have. Do they send out emails for closed beta invites tomorrow or what? what? No, no, no. I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Are you doing a 24 hour stream now? No, no, I'm not doing a 24 hour stream right now. I need to get good rest, dude. I haven't had good sleep in a few nights. Yeah. I was curious uh, if you think a new player should raw dog classic or look up some basic guides to keep up with other people. Look, play the game the way you want to play it. I think I think guides are BS. I don't like I don't like guides. I think uh, I, not that I don't like guides. So I think there's so much crap on YouTube, like sensationalist culture. Guys, you have to play vanilla WoW. This, this is the only way you play vanilla WoW. It's like, dude, relax. Relax, like you can play the game the way you want to play it. Like, sure, there's some things that are better than others. Like, if you want to level like super fast, that's that's sure. Like, you can do that, but you don't have to go and you don't have to try and speed level through everything, right? And, and this is like one of those things. Like, sure, like that's what I'm gonna do as a streamer, but that's not something that I necessarily recommend. I promise you, if you get in the beta, you're gonna learn this. And I've been saying this for a while now. There's a lot of guide content out there that is just wrong. It's just flat out wrong. And people act like everything they say is gospel. But we all know, dude, you got to follow the light, dude. You got to know that you got to follow the light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that people take as gospel, but you got to make sure to follow the light, dude. Follow the truth. Follow righteousness. That's what it's all about, man. That is what it's all about. The main point of what I'm trying to say is if you're a new player, you can look up guides and all that, and that's fine. But you don't have to take everything that you see on the internet as gospel. You don't you don't have to take everything that you see in a video as 100% fact. Play the game you want to play it and, and have fun. I'm new to WoW I'm so excited to play when Classic releases, but I don't know where to start from. I want to have a clear idea of the game. There's no better time to start. No better time to start, if, if you ask me. I almost wish they would have made changes to Classic instead of trying to recreate an experience that really can't be replicated. Balance changes to make in-game content harder, for example. It's not about replicating an experience that can't really be re replicated, right? Like, you want to have the game be as close to what it was, and sure, there's going to be some things that are different, but if you ask me, and I, and I genuinely think this, I, I, honest to God, honest to God, think that my vanilla WoW experience in 2017 was better than my vanilla WoW experience in 2004, 2005, 2006. And I think that a lot of people who played on private servers would agree. And it's not so much about the private server experience, it's more so about you're older, you understand more, you have access to more knowledge, you you have more time, and you're just able to play better, right? That's what I think. And, and the reason why I think that is because this game, some people think it's nostalgia. It's not nostalgia, it's about the design of the game. The game is designed so well. You know, what's, you know what's interesting? And I was talking to McConnell about this earlier, like, if you haven't played on private servers or anything, if you haven't really seen Vanilla WoW in a long time, uh, especially this, because this wasn't in the demo, it's actually it's incredibly nostalgic for people to go through and to experience this now. And it's like, wow, like, oh yeah, I remember this quest. I remember that quest. I remember these guys aggroing me from like 10 miles away and I get killed. You want to see some high octane level 40 rep paladin gameplay? Boom, we got two melees. We got a rogue and a warrior on a mage. I say, you know what? Boom, I'm going to save his life. Heal. He's got no mana. It's okay. I'll give him freedom. He's slowed. They got chilled. He gets saved. He polymorphs one? Doesn't he? Oh, I think he tried, but he screwed up. There it is. And look at this. I bubble, distract, 
leave. So that's what I do. I dispense justice. The mage is saved. And I go about my business, dude. That's just a day in the life. Okay. That's a day in the life of the Paladin Police Force. Watch. Leveling dungeon. So I go PvP, and I uh, cast and judgment. The ability to give did you see? Did you guys see the lag? Slow it down. If you put it on 0.25% speed, watch whenever I cast my judgment and look at the delay. There's a massive delay. Casted it. Damage went off. Do you guys see that? Will they use any new graphics in Classic? You can choose the new water or like foliage if you want. But animations, uh, models, no, they're not going to do that. Well, keep in mind it's at one fourth of a, it's one fourth speed. So look at this. Watch. Watch his health bar. There's a little bit of a delay there. It's like a fourth of a second delay. Red is garbage, so it's fine. No. Red is garbage, so I can't have it be broken any more than it is. You guys want to see some never-before-seen footage that I recorded? I haven't put this in video yet. This is me playing in the demo. Watch my... Let, let me open nameplates. Watch the health bars. Whenever I cast Judgment. I think I'm going to cast Judgment right here. Okay, okay, did you see it? Look, you have to have... Look, you have to have a true... You have to have a true eye for detail. You have to have a true eye for detail. Commitment to excellence. You, you really... You, I, I need some laser vision right here. Okay. I need some laser vision. Watch. Can I slow this down? Play his 360 video. Whoa. What the brick? Whoa, this is weird, man. Oh, what? I just got like nauseous. Okay. I'm not going to watch that. Okay. That was weird, dude. I actually just like, well, that was not good. <laughs> Look, I was not expecting that. Watch how whenever I judge, look at the delay. You can feel the delay. I didn't puke when I did legs for the movie. We ruined that. Sorry, an executioner. Watch. You see? Did you see it? Did you see it? Oh, so watch this. Watch. You see big delay. Watch, watch. Like you, you see that? That was so bad. You see that? It is not like that. Watch, 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 watch. Watch. I shoot. Watch. That's so slow. You see how slow that was? How's the button latency? Well, pressing the buttons and stuff feels really good. Slow it down. Do you see? Did you guys see that? Look at the delay. It. Hold on, that was a bad example. Hold on, hold on. That was a bad. <laughs> that was a bad example. I forgot. Frick. Okay. Listen, that was a bad example. <laughs> Bart the boy donated five dollars. His fan really loves the stream. Guys, Murlocs are a hard counter. Okay, Murlocs are a direct hard counter to Paladins. Okay, in Vanilla WoW, this is what happens. Unbelievable. Did you talk to people about this, how they can use class to make retail better? Uh, actually, that's something that did come up, and, and I said that, like, I mean, I do think that they're two separate games for two separate types of people, right? Two different markets. But I do think that if one game is doing exceedingly well, which I think that Classic probably will do really well, that you can draw some inspiration for that for better game design and, and retail. Okay, listen, I was so triggered in the Classic beta. I was so triggered because the, the thing is, they gave Paladins, like, prot warrior gear with a one-hander and a shield, and they didn't give them a two-hander, so I couldn't play Rhett effectively, and they didn't even give them healing. They wouldn't even give them healing gear. Like, I didn't even have gear to heal as a paladin. So I didn't get a two-hander. Like, I was like, dude, what are you trying to tell me, Blizzard? You invite me, of all people, I'm known for playing a Rhett paladin in Classic, and you don't have a Rhett weapon in the demo? How unbelievable, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it blew my mind. I was like, like, you know I'm coming. Like, I'm not asking for any special treatment here, but like, there's literally like five people here. Like, come on. They're just like the disrespect, dude. <laughs> so here's what happened. We were playing on this side. Chinglish and Tally and some of those guys were playing a horde on the opposite side. Okay. They were playing horde on the opposite side of the, the table. So what happens is I hear they're like, oh, hey, we got a two-handed. They, they knew that I was complaining about it. 
So they got a two-handed weapon. So what we ended up doing, I think it was a uh, Towley ends up getting Towley ends up getting a weapon drop while they're doing like razor fun downs, and they put it on the auction house in Booty Bay, and then I just went and just bought it off the auction house. So this is how I got a two-handed weapon in the classic beta. Yeah, cross faction collusion, boys. That's right, cross faction collusion. So yeah, we we that's that's some testing that we did.